Hello people and welcome back to the Robot Master Battle Royale. And since the uh, overwhelming response to the series, we've gotta pick up the slack here. We gotta make this a lot faster. So I'm gonna read the comments quickly and efficiently from now on. Again, thank you for your continued support. 357 comments. Easy. Torchman kicks the living shit out of everyone. Hawkeye, here we go. Burner Man can easily burn Hornet Man and his Hornets. Because Torchman is a fire safety robot. Torchman moves very quickly, so he will burn Hornet Man's Hornets. Hornet Man, who has no chance against the two fire robot masters, commits suicide after discovering that his bees stings cannot pierce Crystal Man. Hornet Man got sent to Brazil. Hornet is weak to fire, plus Torch can shoot upwards. Okay, finally somebody explained that. Because I was like, well maybe Torchman can just hover so far up in the sky and maybe he could land on some of the fire robots, but eh, he's just fucked. He's totally fucked. Hornet Man coats the ground with honey. Torchman's fighting style is diminished and he caramelizes into, uh, the honey onto his body with his torches. Burner Man finally stops dashing the fuck about and finds himself trapped in his own bear trap, lured by the honey. Hey, this is what I was talking about. Good job. Crystal Man then strikes at the two immobile fire robot masters from the air, delivering lethal blows. This is actually one of my favorites. This is what I uh, was talking about when I said, think outside the box. Not every time does the uh, obvious choice uh, become the best one. I mean, sure, we all know insects die to fire, but come on, you're supposed to use your imagination. This is how you do this. This is one of my favorite comments on the competition so far. Good job. See, when people make comments like this against people who say, well, uh, Hornet Man just dies because fire, this is gonna be a critical hit. Hornet Man gets incinerated by the two uh, fire robot masters. Hornet Man dies. That's not a, that's not an attack. Hornet Man's hornets may be weak to fire, but due to the brand new technique of having hornets carrying giant ice blocks and then dropping the ice blocks on Burner and Torch Man's heads. That's a bit of a far fetch, my man. Everyone falls to Torch Man. Why? Because they're not masters of Torchitsu. Shit! Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Hornet Man is weak to fire, so he'll just get annihilated by Torchman and Burner Man. Crystals can crack or explode when exposed to sudden or severe temperature changes. Considering Burner and Torchman are both very rushed down focused in their fighting style. <sighs> Crystal Man would probably lose very quickly to both of them after only a few hits. Hornet Man would probably also lose to Burner Torch too. Not just because of a fire weakness, but also because Hornet Man is a slow runner and his weapon isn't good at close range. I despise this fact, but based on logic, the fire robot masters could melt Crystal Man and annihilate Hornet Man's bees. Well, there's no logic needed here, you can make up your own rules. Some one needs to manufacture and adopt Crystal Man and Hornet Man with flame retardant shields or armor. That wouldn't make this battle really easy. Seems set up for Burner Man or Torch Man to walk away with this one if you ask me. Torch versus Hornet. Well, I think things are clear here. Hornet Man has fire weakness, so Torch Man and Burner Man are gonna kick your ass. Torch versus. Okay, it's not too much. Torch versus Burner. I think they would have a fair fight here. Torch Man could kick the Burner Man. Since the Burner Man is destabilized with the Cold Man's weapon, I think a kick would make a much difference. Torch versus Crystal. The Crystal Man is made of crystals. Hornet Man stands no chance. Well, if you put it like that. No, he doesn't. A bunch of Burner Man versus Torch Man, and then suddenly Crystal Man comes in and fires some pebbles at them. And Hornet Man is just eating his own shit. Crying on the ground, eating glue. Crystal Man could predict every attack. 
making him invincible. Well, but if he's gonna predict that he's gonna die, I mean, a prediction doesn't always mean he's gonna win. Torchman and Burner Man. Like every comment, I swear to God. Torchman and Burner Man. Torchman and Burner Man. Where's Crystal Man? Uh, could easily dodge Crystal Man's balls. Well, there he is. He's getting fucked. Torchman wins because his flaming kick kills Hornet Man's hornets. He has a less simple pattern than Burner Man and he could easily dodge Crystal Man's crystals. Well, how easily? I mean, if, they're, if it's a closed up room and they're bouncing around like mad. I don't know about that. Hornet Man will get roasted by the two firemen. Crystal Man 2 will. 2. Will get burned, and even if he survives attacks, he is way too slow. He is slow, you're right. I think the fire robot masters are pretty fast. That's a good point. Both Torch and Burner Man would both beat Hornet Man. Burner Man would have been the bodies. Burner Man lights a blunt and wins by getting everyone high. Excuse me? Tantra Man? Jesus! Crystal Man can reflect the fire onto both of Burner Man and Torch Man, and probably even Hornet Man. The Hornet robots can be burned, so Crystal Man wins. Sorry dude, there's not enough comments for Crystal Man, he's fucked. <laughs> Every time you say Chunk Man, it sounds like Chunk Man. Well, how do you pronounce it differently? Chunk. Junk and Chunk. Junk. Hornet Man can summon his bees for an attack. Oh, but they get fucked. <laughs> okay, Burner Man and Torch Man. Burner Man and Torch Man. Torch Man and Burner Man. Burner Man and Torch Man. I say that Burning Man and Torch Man. Torch Man and Burner Man. Torch Man and Burner Man. Hey, there's something new. Hornet Man can't even damage Crystal Man as he's probably as hard as Diamond, so Stingers wouldn't uh, would be ineffective. Yeah, but we have yet to establish what happens with Crystal Man and the boys, except other than the fact that, he, according to everyone, he gets fucked. Crystal Man shoots his crystal balls towards Torch Man's flame output. Blocking any more fire to come out, which makes his whole body temperature to rise crazy fast until he explodes. Hey, this is a comment I like. Burner Man is so insane, he can't handle his burning powers. By mistake, he burns his eyeballs out and dies. <laughs> How do the robots see, by the way? How are their eyes made? Hornet Man can fly, so he can uh, trick Torch Man, Burner Man and Crystal Man into spikes. I feel like Crystal Man would win, here's why. Burner Man and Torch Man will probably go after Hornet Man, as it's the easiest targets, makes sense. Then because their abilities are so uh, similar, they will probably get into a stalemate, which means Crystal Man can kill them whilst they are fighting. Here we go! Crystal Man uh, might also use his foresight to predict the optimal way to win after Burner Man and Torch Man fight each other. I'm liking this. <sighs> There's not enough comments for our boy Hornet Man though. He's just fucked. Hornet Man's fucked. I'm sorry to say. Even with those couple of good comments, that's not enough to carry Hornet Man. He's out. Then, even though uh, I would have preferred that Crystal Man got much, much more love, there's not enough comments for Crystal Man either. People tend to think he's too slow, the projectiles are bad, and no real uh, creativity has been explored uh, on uh, Crystal Man's parts. Here we go, here's one. It's like here's one, out of like 400 comments, here's, here's one. Crystal Man wins thanks to his illusory abilities, which would allow him to predict the future and ensure victory. That's a common comment though now. Yeah, this is uh, what I was talking about. Like, uh, even if you're a fortune teller, it doesn't mean that you can win. You can't uh, manipulate future events. Yep, not enough comments for Crystal Man, I'm afraid. At least that I can see, so... Moving on to the next round will be uh, Torch Man and Burner Man. Sorry to say, Crystal Man and the Hornet Man are out! Let's see who uh, the next Robot Masters are. Starman versus Tomahawk Man versus Grenade Man versus Pump Man. Hey, this is a, an interesting lineup. I have no idea how you're gonna tackle this one, but in any case, rather interesting. 
we will catch you on the next episode of the uh, Robot Master Battle Royale. Hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you next time.